Hi, I'm Drew. I'm Scott. Welcome to Everyman's Whiskey. Will today's episode be a cautionary tale? Let's find out. Today on Everyman's Whiskey, we're sampling Evan Williams. We've got the Evan Williams Classic, the Evan Williams 1783, the Evan Williams 100 Proof, and the Evan Williams Single Barrel. Doing four again, aren't we, Drew? Doing four. I feel like we've talked about this. We have. Uh, I am not that excited about Evan Williams because my experience with them has only been in two of our prior episodes, which were both flavor episodes, mm -hmm. peanut butter and apple, mm -hmm. which were both foul and the worst of the bunch we tried. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, completely dreadful. So my attitude towards this is negative. Trying to have an open mind, but... No, really close to dread. See, those two are also the only Evan Williams I've ever had. So we're gonna learn a lot together. I also am. Uh, what, what's the opposite of looking forward to this? Dreading. Yeah, there we go. We'll go with that. Let's get started. For our first tasting day, we're going to the Evan Williams Classic. This bottle was uh, twelve dollars. Twelve dollars? <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, so first fact, let's just talk about the namesake, Evan Williams. He was a Welsh immigrant. He arrived uh, in the late eighteenth century and started this in seventeen eighty three in Louisville. And they, their claim is that they're the first commercial distillery in the U.S. Yeah. Bourbon historians heavily dispute that. So uh, there's a little bit of argument back Who and forth. Who do you think started it? I don't know. Okay. But it uh, that version eventually died out, but then it was brought back in like 1957. Oh. So it did, it's not like continuous. Okay. Well, fair enough. Yep. So this one is a um, pretty light colored bourbon on the nose. It's got me fooled so far. It doesn't look like a $12 bottle. Right. Yeah. On the And the nose isn't harsh. We nope. got some wood, some... Uh, Corn. It's e okay. It's pretty standard. Yeah. Let's yeah. sip it. All right. It's uh peppery. It is. It is peppery. It is peppery. It's not bad. It's not. It's not horrible. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Am I allowed to say that? You're allowed to. Okay. There's some vanilla, a little bit. A little bit of caramel. It's I can see why, like, as an inexpensive staple bourbon, it's not bad. I wouldn't, like, go out of my way to, to buy it, but if it's a mixer or whatever, I'm not going to tell the difference. That's true. Yeah. Let's be real. Yeah, that's fair. You get some corn, maybe a hint of toffee. Could just be the caramel trying to fool me, though. It's a little harsh, but not overly harsh. Yeah. So, there you go. First one down. Three to go. Let's keep going. For our next tasting, we're going to the Evan Williams 1783 Small Batch Sour Mash. Calls for another fact. Yes, I love facts. This is our first Heaven Hill brand. Really? Not had any yet. So I didn't realize far. that. And so Heaven Hill was actually the first distillery tour I ever did. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. So you may know all the facts I'm about to share. I don't know. I just, or I may not because I didn't know you what I was doing. You don't pay attention very yeah. well. And, okay. So 1933 prohibition ends in 1935. Five sons of a Lithuanian department store owner, the Shapira brothers, they see an opportunity. There's okay. there's money to be made sure. in, in bourbon. And so they, along with some other investors, start Heaven Hill. Eventually, they end up buying out the other investors, and it's still owned by the Shapira family to this day. Oh, that's yeah. really cool. It's like the largest family-owned American distillery. Nice. Yep. Good for them. All right, this Similar one, color to the last, I would say. Hint darker. Okay. But yeah, still super light. So, on the nose, it's a lot sweeter than the last. Yeah, like a... a Brown sugars. Yeah, a little uh, maple syrup action going on. Yeah, um, syrupy. Hint of fruit. What fruit? I'll try to get it out. Oh, jeez. 
apricot. Mm, maybe I'd buy that. Okay. Definitely sweeter. Yeah. More so. syrupy. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Um, not as harsh as the last one. Got some cinnamon, some pepper. It, yeah, it, it feels more flavorful. It's not as simplified. There's right. more going on. No, I mean... On the back end, what is that? It kind of it lingers a little bit longer. Not in a bad way. Yeah. I'm getting oak and pepper on the back. Certainly the pepper and the oak and the cinnamon. The, man, that time the cinnamon really came out for me. Yeah. The spiciness of it. See, that's why we take three sips. Mm -hmm. Because each one reveals something different. Yep. Uh, on the back end, I got a bunch of corn that time. Huh. I didn't. I didn't get corn. Yeah. It's... It's not really that bad. How much does this run you? I mean, the last one was $12. What's this, $15? Yep, yep, $15. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so... Is I, that why they sell so much? Because of the price? Yeah. And it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. So, hmm. decently flavorful um, for 15 bucks. Way better than their peanut butter stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was atrocious. I yeah, remember. All right, let's try the next one. For our next tasting, we're going to the Evan Williams Bottled in Bond 100 Proof. What were the other alcohol contents we've had so far? Uh, the other, actually, all three of the other ones that we're trying today are 43% uh, alcohol, proof. so 86 proof. Which is a little higher, like, right, but we are 80 as far as like the mainstream popular. Yeah. But right. let's get into fact three. We're dilly dallying. Ah, let's. Do fact three. Uh, this is, we're going to be a little Heaven Hill heavy on the okay. facts. I like Heaven Hill. We're good. The Up until very recently, the entire line of master distillers at Heaven Hill were all descendants of the Beam family. Okay. Joseph Beam being the first, he's the brother of Jim Beam. Hmm. That and, sounds familiar. Yeah, a little bit. And they produce Elijah Craig. They do Larceny. They do Old Fitzgerald. They do McKenna. Okay. They do quite a bit of stuff. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. This one being one of the staples. And Evan Williams. So this one is actually lighter than the previous two, which I'm surprised about since it's a higher proof. On the nose. Um, huh, that was... What are you okay. getting? Bloodhound okay. over here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... My my grandpa used to have a wood shop. Okay, where's this going? I I swear this smells, brace yourselves. This smells exactly like dude. This might be your new favorite my drink. Grandpa's wood shop. I mean, it's not a particularly pleasant oh. smell. <laughs> are there are there bad memories attached? There's to your grandpa's not wood shed. No, there's That's no good. not shed shop. Wood shop. Okay, <laughs> I thought you said wood shed. No, um, no, he did like jigsaws. I can smell and and the alcohol more so. Jigsaws. What? Woodworking? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So. Um, but that's what this smells like. It's so weird. Does it taste like your grandpa's workshop? <laughs> Let's find out. Uh, that is um, that is strong. It's strong. But there's some good flavoring on the back end. I'll tell you what. I've been a little surprised by. Huh? So far this episode, I, I came in with low expectations. Yeah. And it's... Exceeding my low expectations. <laughs> you and me both. So, what I mean, are you tasting, Drew? To be fair, it couldn't be worse than my low expectations. So this one, it's it's strong. It's got a big cinnamon flavor to it. Um, I'm almost tasting like a black cherry. Huh. For me, it's strongest in the middle. And then it, it the the fire dies down a little bit, and you get more of the flavors. Yeah. I'm not getting cherry. I want to get black yeah. Cherry. Try that. I'm definitely getting black cherry on that one. It's not awful. It's not awful. It's if you if you blindfold me, I'd probably be fooled. I'm fooled of what? Like thinking this was a higher labeled bottle than I mean, how much was this? Uh, this one was twenty bucks. That's insane. Yeah. So we've done a twelve, a fifteen, and a twenty dollar bottle. I very cost effective. Yeah, very cost effective. So 
Ah, let's go on to the last one. For our last tasting today, we're going to the Evan Williams Single Barrel. It's been a journey. Here it, we go. It has. I have one last factoid for you. Nice. Heaven Hill heavy again, okay. but have you heard of the fire at Heaven Hill in 1996? I have. You have? Yeah. Because you toured. Right. You probably heard about yeah, it. Yeah, because I toured it. Insane. Like over 90,000 barrels destroyed. Yeah. Uh, there was the creek that supplies the water. Two miles along, it was on fire. There were literally barrels exploding, shooting into the sky like shooting stars. That's but pretty crazy. The bourbon community like rallied around and gave them time to distill at their facilities nearby, so they wouldn't go out of business. And yeah. kind of cool, the community aspect of bourbon makers. That is cool. Yep, I like that. And they keep expanding. Like Heaven Hill's huge now. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I know. You know. I don't know. You know. Yeah. So this one is slightly darker than the previous ones. Um, kind of more of the mid honey color on the nose. Mid honey color? Yeah, mid honey. Okay. It's not like a it's not like a I didn't see that crayon growing up, but I'll buy it. Okay, so no no no. So like buckwheat honey, for instance, is really, really dark, whereas clover is really light. Whereas you get like a wildflower. Welcome to every and... man's honey. Sheesh. It's a mid honey. Alright, on the nose, it was kind of a uh, sweet uh, Hundred proof vanilla. No, no, this is uh, eighty six proof. Back to eighty six. Back to eighty six. Yeah. It Sweet. smells like a standard whiskey to me. There's nothing really that sticks out. Yeah, there's a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of vanilla. Okay, let's dive in. A little bit of sweet, a little bit of spicy, about everything that you could want. It's pretty smooth. A lot of black pepper. Coming off the 100 proof back down to the 86, it's noticeably smoother, but that might just be because of what we just had. That's true. I am just getting a lot of black pepper flavor, not too much else. I was wanting that vanilla and cinnamon that I smelled, but I'm just... Now there's a black pepper over overwhelms it a little bit. Mm-hmm. I'm not getting a whole lot else. A little bit of burning. Um, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Maybe some oak on the back end, the finish. Well, uh, what does this run you? This one's $35. That's steep compared for, to what we've had. For Evan Williams, yeah. What makes this one worth $35 versus the others? I mean, it's a single barrel, so... The rarity of it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Supply and demand. kind of along with that, then the next barrel could taste different. And Evan Williams used to... At least their original was always at least seven years, but now it's four years. Okay. And they took the, the, the age off of it completely, so. Yeah. Which probably also explains why most of these were lighter in color. Yeah. So, there you go. Well, Scott, we're at the end of our journey. It wasn't a short journey. No. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to no, be. No, I think we've been proved wrong. Yeah. To a degree. Yeah. These For sure. All four of them were respectable respectable yeah I not know. bad in any way right the yeah. first one's a little ordinary yeah the it's, it's very plain um but at 12 dollars, if you're using it for a mixer like a bourbon and coke or something i'm probably not going to tell the difference right that's Save fair. some money and get it yeah so this guy was tasty um but slightly overpowering for the 100 proof agreed the the higher proof on that one kept it out as my favorite of the four that's fair yeah the, it wasn't bad but yeah not my favorite then the single barrel i was not a huge fan i don't see the value in in that one same here for the value the pepper was very forward and yeah it yeah. was my least favorite of the four yeah so for me the winner at 15 dollars is the 1783 me too Man, For I sure. know you hate to I agree do. with me. I do. <laughs> but I think most people that tried these four would, would land on that one. I would probably agree with that. Yeah. And for 15 bucks, right? it's a steal. Yeah. And save yourself the uh, the other $60 and just get this one. And for, you know, we pride ourselves on value, mm -hmm. and yet we're dogging Evan Williams at the beginning. I mean, for a value brand, 
Yeah. It's solid. It is solid. We learned, we really learned a valuable lesson. It's true. Don't base a bourbon company on their flavored whiskeys. Yeah. The more you know. Shooting there you star. Go. Yes. <laughs> so thanks for joining us today on Every Man's Whiskey. As always, please be sure to share, subscribe, like, comment below. And remember, quality over quantity. Drink responsibly. But it's very pepper forward. I mean, it's super peppery. Yeah. It's like the waiter came around and said, Pepper? More pepper? Tell me when to stop. Stop. Tell me when to stop. 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 Sorry, I'm deaf in my left ear. <laughs> stop! Oh. See, Are you ready? At Olive Garden, when they grind the cheese. You, you just don't say anything. Yeah. yeah. I'm just, you make them say yeah. no for you. Yeah. I and mean, they're like, is that enough? Oh. I'm pretty sure they get that a lot. <laughs> yeah. I love facts!